So as you can see over here, I've got a big tank. So this is 48 by 44 cm. It's gonna be filled up substrate up till over here or maybe even higher because in here, we're gonna be rehousing a I want it at an auction. And I'll tell you the story in another video because this video is going to be about me making the lid for this enclosure. Now, long time ago, when I used to use a lot of these enclosures, I have these wooden lids and you guys asked me how I make them. So today we're going to do a very, very similar kind for the bigger tank. And yeah, basically, I've already done this part. So the wood is going to be measured from the corner like this so it'll rest on the tank up to the second part over here you can see i marked it with a marker i'm just gonna make use of the entire wood because it's a long one so here the same thing like this and right over there now it's not gonna be perfect definitely not because i'm not a very good DIY guy but yeah I'll still show you how I do it and gets the job done and I forgot I gotta go and get some sandpaper to sand this down because it's pretty rough and I don't want to get splinters and also I am planning on spray painting the wood the lid black to match with these exoterra ones so yeah, it'll be more, it'll look more premium. Eventually, I'll also spray these ones black because you can see it's not very nice. There's some random blues and yeah, just not very satisfied with that. So eventually, I'll paint everything black. So now let's go mark more wood and try to saw them up. Today is a very, very hot day, so it's gonna be a real pain sawing these things up. So as you can see in my boot over here, I've got 10 of these wood. So yeah, let's get them out and saw them up. Hey, hey, don't disturb me, Zina. Go away, go away. Since I've already marked the first one, I'm going to just line them up and just mark them all together. Okay, so I've done for five, one, two, three, four, five pieces of wood. And now we're gonna start to saw them up. I really hope I have a saw because, yeah, and don't judge my sawing skills because I suck at it. So this is my garden shed and we're gonna have to look for a saw. Can I, can I use this? This, I think, I think this one's used for pipes, but I mean, it's worth a shot, right? Like I said, don't judge me. Let me go get my tripod. Woo, woo, I cannot wait for this tank to be completed and having the tea inside is gonna be so awesome. Got my tripod. I think I'm gonna need two pieces of brick. That way I can stand the wood up. Did you see that a gecko just jumped out of the whatever? All right, so I've laid it like this. That way I can saw over here here now let's see how this goes like i said don't judge <laughs> i'm so bad at sawing stuff there we go okay so that's one piece I'm gonna do for all the rest. And yeah, later I'm gonna sandpaper this down. Let's test the size first. Cause can you imagine if I don't test the size and I do everything and I'm gonna have to go buy more wood again? Yeah, I mean, the wood isn't expensive, but yep, there we go, it works. So um, I guess my, my sawing ain't that bad. <laughs> yeah, so basically I'm going to be lining them up over here like this way So I'm not too sure how many I'm gonna need but I'm just gonna saw them first Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna saw them first. Let's see. You see it's very very rough So we're gonna have to sandpaper this later I'll just put you guys over here and you guys can see me slowly sawing the wood Yeah, and I will probably just like speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so it took me about 11 minutes to cut all of these. I think over here there should be 20, 
Let's go put them on the tank to see if we have enough. If we don't, we still have one, two, three, four, five. Five more long pieces, but I'm pretty sure we have enough. I swear if these are the wrong sizes, I'm gonna be so mad. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, so far, so good. I like that. Okay, so here's one. And then we're, we're just gonna arrange them like maybe so. Maybe a half centimeter gap. So far, so good. We are on the right track. And now that I think of it, I know why these these older tanks have those blue colorations. Because it's from the freaking saw. Oh yeah, now I remember. That saw is blue. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, definitely we have more than enough because it's already eight and it's like halfway already. Now the downside of these wood, they're cheap wood. So yeah, it's not very nice, but it's okay. I mean, it gets the job done. Okay, so that's roughly how it's going to look like. So we've got two, four, six, eight, ten. 12, 14, 16. So we've got 16 planks of wood. Yeah, one drop down. Yeah, 16 planks of wood for the lid. I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna be spray painting them black and I think it's gonna look way better. I'm gonna, of course, sandpaper them down first to smoothen them out. But the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna have to measure a piece of wood that goes this way. That way I can hammer this or, well, actually, I may just epoxy it. And then I'll just put it onto something like this, right? I'll just put it on like that, and then it'll be inside. So it's gonna be like this, that way it will lock in place, and something like that, so it cannot move around. So that's what I'm gonna be doing, but as for now, I'm going to, yeah, I'm gonna have to sandpaper them. But I think I will just measure this one first since I'm already sawing them up. Similar to my my Singapore blue, yeah, I was gonna say King Baboon. Singapore blue's enclosure, see there's two over here. That way it will lock in place and it won't shift around. But now these wood, you see, they rest on the glass over here, here and here. They rest on the glass. But the inside one is going to have to be inside the glass. So yeah, let's go saw that up. Measure it up first and saw it up. It's going to be inside like this and over here so i should mark somewhere around here okay i've marked it just nice one that slots in here and it slots in there and here is another piece i think i only need two one over here and one over there i thought of three but then if one's in the middle it's gonna look kind of ugly it's either two two or just one one and i thought hmm I think one one would be better. Okay, back to sawing. But this time, we only need two, so not too bad. Okay, so these two should fit just nice. Yeah, right inside like that. And this one as well. Yeah, perfect. It's, it's a little bit... It's not really flush to the end, but it gets the job done. Just preparing the enclosure now for the as you can see very very deep substrate a lot of substrate for this species because they are fossorials and they would appreciate if you give them lots of deep moist ish substrate it's not done yet so yeah i'm gonna have to put a wood in later and i will make do a pre-made burrow for it so it'll use that burrow hopefully hopefully but now i'm just going to still just stir up everything because this is actually a mixed substrate of cocoa fiber and burnt rice husk all right guys so this is the enclosure of the now what we have in here is a nice deep substrate i think it's about seven inches yeah about seven inches of substrate and it goes down way deep under i put a big driftwood over here and it goes down deep under over there for a burrow and as well as over here super deep down she can go in and dig some more if she wants and then over here we have got some wood we have got some nice little pieces of wood over here and then some dried leaf litter and of course we have the water dish the clean water dish over here for her to drink a big water dish the reason i did this enclosure size is to match this enclosure as well and over here 
to match these two. So I measured it, brought it over to the custom enclosure custom aquarium shop, asked them to do it. And this tank cost me about $15. Not too bad, $15 to make this whole thing. And of course, without a lid, I'm gonna have to do the lid now. I went out and got some sandpaper. So it took me about 20 minutes. I sandpapered everything. Now they're all smooth and really, really nice feeling. Okay, so this is going to be the arrangement of the top lid i haven't glued the two pieces on yet but just for you guys to have a quick look so there are little gaps in between not too much because this tarantula likes it damp so yeah there, there are air holes so don't worry about that as you can see so i've got two parts epoxy over here one clear i mean one resin <laughs> and one hardener so we put 50 50 mix them up and i'm gonna dab over here and then we'll put this wood on but i will not film that because i need two hands to do it i'll show you guys when i'm done okay 50 50 now we mix them up all right something like that i accidentally spilled some here i'm so clumsy Ugh, good thing it's able to be wiped away but yeah so as you can see i've put the epoxy in and now we just press the top wood down now the epoxy is not the only thing that's going to hold the wood together i am still going to nail it but the thing is epoxy it'll make it easier because it'll be like arranged when it's right so i can easily just hammer 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 right i've done it for this side as well so you guys can kind of see the shape of the lid already one problem though the epoxy is not really sticking the wood together Hmm. Okay, so to make it stronger, I've just put some epoxy all along the sides of this wood over here. So that way, it'll just, all right, just adhere better. After that, I'm going to use these nails and just, hmm, probably just one each. I really hope this nail doesn't split the wood apart. Oh my gosh, if it does, then that would be sad. Back in my garden shed in search of a hammer there we go I'm gonna test whether the wood will split so let's just okay so far no split which is awesome yeah okay so let's do it so this is how deep the nail will go so let's start work i think i will do the middle first we'll do from the middle to the side because if the side, I'm afraid it may lift the the wood up. So, so here goes. I'm not very good at hammering, so don't judge. Okay, there goes one. So the nail is going to make it more solid. Yes, that's the word, solid. There we go, so far so good. Nice. Excuse me. Can I get my, my lid, please? Yeah, so that right there, you guys, is the lid. So that's basically it. Very, very, very simple to make. A little bit time consuming because you have to saw up the wood. Now, it is not level, which I am not happy about. And also another thing that I'm not happy about is the gaps. Yeah, some gaps are big, some are small, but then again, practice makes perfect, right? Yeah, whatever, as long as it works. If it works, it works. So now this, we just put on like that. I've laid the newspaper on the floor. Now we're gonna paint the lid. I think I'll paint the back side first. Should I paint the back side first? Maybe the front side. I'll paint the back side first. Nice. I will be ending up with a thick layer of paint because this tarantula's enclosure is going to be damp. So a thicker paint will protect the wood. All right, guys, it is the next day and this is how the lid looks like. I painted it last night, front and back. I actually made the layer quite thick. So the front part, well, the top part, I used one spray can. Yes, kind of overkill, but that's what I did. I needed it, well, I wanted it super dark. So yeah, here, one can 
as well as the back, I also did one can. So I used two spray cans. I mean, you probably could use just one, but I wanted it to be really, really dark. So I used two spray cans for this whole lid. And as you can see, there's still the epoxy over there. It's all dried up, all painted on. And the nails, one, two, three, four, all on this straight middle line. So this is the lid. You guys now know how I made these ones. I'm probably gonna paint these ones black as well, but yeah, we'll see about that. But the most important thing was this one. So now let's put it on top and see how it looks. There we go. So this is what it looks like now. I think it looks pretty darn good in my opinion. But yeah, like I said, it's not really aligned. You see the wood, it's not really close to each other and the gap isn't constant, but it's okay. It does the job well and you probably can't even tell from a distance. So yeah, awesome. So now I can actually put another tank on here that is not too heavy or some other, I don't know. We'll see about that. But yeah, that is the tank guys. You guys know how I make the lids. And yeah, I know it's not perfect, but practice makes perfect. I'm gonna have to make more of these in the future. So stay tuned. Anyways, guys, that'll be it for this video. Stay tuned for a future video where you will see me putting the tarantula inside. It's gonna be a very beautiful tarantula. So yeah, stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, stay safe, have an awesome one. Peace.